Hi everyone, welcome along. So today's news in the UK is that there will possibly be three hour outages of power where it may have to be switched off. Probably all scaremongering but once a rumour gets going it goes and goes and goes doesn't it. To that end I've had a few of you write to me to say would one of those poor little power stations work to power the boiler to keep the gas centrally running if we were to get one of these three hour breaks in power? Well I don't see why not. <laughs> let's, let's look into them first shall we? Here then is a typical sort of thing. You can see that they are quite expensive. It's going to be anything up to a thousand pound I should think for one of these. This is the one that would probably do because Average boiler is 200 watts running and 600 watts peak power, so this is well within the range that it should run, uh, around about 2 amps. But how long does it actually run for? Well, that has to be found out, doesn't it? And where exactly would it go to power your heating? Well, I'm not a professional electrician, obviously, <laughs> but here is the main power switch fused spur that goes up to power my boiler. If I go up here you'll see there's my programmer and above that oh, the boiler, the combi. Well as these things are plug in, the only way I can see this kind of working, well and I'm not an electrician, would be to take a T off from above the main switch that also enables you to turn it off. If not, they would turn it off at the mains <laughs> and put a junction box that's like one of these things here and putting it in the cable above here, running a wire out, put a socket on there probably would be best. And then you could make up a lead to plug from that socket into that socket on the power supplier that you're buying. And I think what would have to happen is that when the power went off you switch the power off to your boiler then plug in your device, your power supply and make sure this switch stays off during the duration uh, so that when it does come back on it doesn't interfere with the power supply that's being fed from your device because I don't know what would happen if <laughs> mains come in and mains is coming out I have no idea because I'm not really that way trained, I'm a plumber um, but to be safe, that would mean that you still wouldn't get any power from there, but your lights would all come back on. I mean, you'd know it was back on. You could unplug your power supply that you're using and turn the switch to the boiler back on. That's the only way I can kind of see it easily, but I'm sure you've got loads of great ideas, you know, switching units that detect when the power goes off and all this kind of thing that could be wired in. But that's out of my league, that bit, I'm afraid. <laughs> Just a little bit one bridge too far as they say but I think it could be done. There you are then, uh, it's something to think about I suppose but it is a lot of money you've probably as I say got to spend 500 to up to a thousand pounds for one of these things. I guess if you've got lots of uses for it in around the home that you want to power things from it especially out in the garden things like that um, then it's a great idea if you go camping uh, you've got a caravan and things like that you've got other uses for this power supply it would be worth your while because you know you're going to get more out of it but the fact is we may not have these power outages in the UK it's all just a big rumour at the moment that already the jittery nerves have started amongst you <laughs> what am I going to do if the heating goes off for three hours just have plenty of jumpers jackets, cardigans and things you could wrap up with warm, save your money. But anyway, if it's for you though, I just thought I'd put it out there as I was asked about it. Okay, all my stuff though, usual place to go, Derrick and 33. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye.